coming up in this week's episode. Welcome to our special edition. We are coming to you live from the Let's Go Queensland Caravan and Camping Super, Super Show here in Brisbane. And this episode, we are talking all about weights. Yes. Are you overweight? That's right. The masterclass with the expert from Weight Check, Mr. Dave Lewis, will be joining us and making sense of all of those acronyms mm -hmm. for both your vehicle and also your caravan. Plus, he's gonna tell us how you can get your hands on a free downloadable weight compliance checklist. So much fantastic information. If you are in the market for a new van or you are already traveling around this great country of ours, this information is going to keep you and your family safe on the road. Plus, we will be letting you know how to get your hands on the ultimate road trip ready guide our complete guide to traveling Australia, the resource we wish we had when we first hit the road with over 100 links, resources, apps, maps, you name it, you'll want this one. All right, let's get into it. for you this week we are live at the let's go queensland caravan and camping super show and we're talking everything weights and the good news is is that we actually have a real expert <laughs> dave lewis from weight check not someone who thinks he's an expert to really make sense of all these weights thank you for joining us dave thanks thanks for having me on paul and katie love love what you're doing around australia been following you uh, for a while now uh, all those places, Tassie look really great. Um, and you've been on the road for three years now, nearly, isn't it, I think? Yeah, yes, it, it is. Has been. And love what you're doing for the caravan industry too, you know. It's um, obviously by the number of followers you have. Um, people love following and seeing your exploits around the country with little Jasper, you know, and he's growing up. He's nearly at school now, I think. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh. Just fantastic. And what a, you know, what an adventure the place you've been to. Oh, it is exactly amazing. that. It totally has been an adventure. And um, we were just talking about this yesterday from really what we refer to ourselves as totally green nomads you know it's, we're graying well i'm graying graying yes, yes uh, <laughs> to really look back across that three years and now look at what were the things that really made the difference to us and a lot of it was around what we didn't know you know you know you don't know what you don't know That's and right. and education is such an important factor into this the the industry is absolutely booming we can see it out there on the road so to be able to have you on the show to actually make sense of these weights, um, get that information out there is awesome. Yeah, look, thanks for having us along. The stuff we do here with Caravan in Queensland, we do all these shows, and it's all about helping educate people on not only weights, and but also towing, uh, safe towing, and towing systems and all that sort of stuff. So we've been doing it for about four years now with Caravan in Queensland, and it's really well received. We, everybody, we get 120, 100 people, 130 people here every sitting, and they all just want that knowledge. Yeah. And that's what we're here for. It's such a benefit of coming to one of these shows. You know, we mm. do get a few comments from people to say, you know, it really is just a big marketplace. Why would I want to come down to one of these shows? But the education and what you can get outside of coming awesome. to see all the products on display is priceless. Well, wow, it's, it's free as well, <laughs> included yes. in your ticket. So, yes. so it is a real benefit. Um, looking back for you, I think yeah. you've had weight check for five years. You are the, the original guy, mate. You, you're the trendsetter yeah, in this look, industry. I'm, yeah, I get called that a bit, but uh, but basically, yes, I was. Funny enough, I was the first, proudly, I should say, was the first business of its type in Australia. So, the concept came out of my own issues with weight in a caravan. So we bought a new caravan six or so years ago and went over a public way bridge and found out that the car was overweight, the caravan was overweight, and over 200 kilos overweight. So 
there's ways you can fix all this, but you've got to know where you start with. So fixed it all. Then it sent me down the path of, I just found it really hard to get that information. There was only two public way bridges in Brisbane to go there, there's always a trucks on them and everything else. And I wanted someone also to give me those numbers, but to sit down with me and explain to me all those acronyms yeah. and how it all works. So here we are now, five years later, um, that's my full-time position and my full-time job and I enjoy doing it. Um, and obviously, like you said, we're very busy at the moment because of so many people are buying a caravan. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. All right, we're gonna make sense of, of all of these numbers and these acronyms. Uh, we joke about it sounding like one of those rap artists, you know, yeah. with the GCM to the GDM. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's good fun um, to really actually make sense of it and understand it. We'll start with the tow vehicle sure. uh, and then we'll move on to the caravan. So. Tell us about the tow vehicle Can first. I just jump in and ask, yeah. before we talk about the acronyms, why is it so important to know yeah. not yeah. just the numbers for your setup, but really to understand them and how they affect your yeah. setup? Why is that so important for yeah, people? Yeah, that's right, Katie, and it is. I mean, look, getting your numbers and making sure you're compliant. Every, a lot of people say to me, oh, look, I don't want to get pulled up by the authorities. I risk getting a fine. Well, yeah. yes, you maybe you will. A lot of people say, if I have an accident or something happens with my caravan, I don't want to jeopardise my insurance yeah, policy. Insurance, yeah. My attitude is, it's your safety. Yeah. The three of you are driving down the car, down, driving down the road with this car in a caravan somewhere around six and a half tonne or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, you want to make sure that you'll remain safe on the road. Yeah. Both these vehicles have a safe working load, same as an excavator does. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we're within those rates and within all those compliance ratings so that it does behave like it should behave and you are safe on the road and you're safe on the road for your own benefit but also for the other road users. That's such a good point because I think it's easy to just hitch up, hit the road and not really yeah. give that the proper thought that it no. needs yeah. but you know 85, 87,000 kilometres in over yeah. our few years you are on the road a lot you are I guess you could be considered a risk to other drivers because yeah. of your setup. And you don't want to become complacent with it either do you you know if you're starting off with those right numbers and you know that things should operate correctly. Yeah. Be like jumping into a, a, a plane and the pilot goes right oh buckle up let's go and not putting any coordinates in Correct. you know you exactly just, right. just hope for the best yes. so yeah very important all right yeah. um, let's start with awesome. the vehicle. Okay so we'll use my BT50 here behind us as yeah. an example um, so there's three compliance ratings there. The first one is brake towing capacity, BTC it's referred as. So it's what the car manufacturer says is the maximum allowable weight you can tow behind that vehicle. So in my case with my BT50, the maximum towing capacity is 3,500 kilos, three and a half tonne. So that means I can hook a caravan or a boat or a trailer, horse float, anything behind that caravan, behind that car that has a maximum loaded weight of three and a half tonne. Great. Right. So every car will have a compliance plate on it with all these details. Um, next one is gross vehicle mass. So GVM is the maximum allowable loaded weight of the vehicle. So in my case, uh, it's 3,200 kilos, 3.2 tonne. But don't forget, as soon as we take that car out of the showroom, we put bull bars on it. A lot about, we blame the guys for this. We put bull bars, we put canopies, yeah. we put fridges in them, we put roof rack. Long range fuel tank. Ex long range fuel tank, exactly right. Uh, even things like off-road tyres, it all adds weight. You know, a different road tyre to an off-road tyre can be five kilos a tyre. Well, there's 20 kilos. So that maximum load or gross vehicle mass can't be exceeded at 3,200 kilos. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing then though is, as soon as you hook a caravan on behind it, whatever the tow ball, the weighed tow ball weight of the caravan is, is now part of that gross vehicle mass. Okay, right. and that's the, and that's the I guess the down pressure or weight on the tow ball. That's right, the actual loaded weight. So load the caravan up, put a digital scale like what we use, and we weigh the ball weight. So if the ball weight, for instance, is say 300 kilos. That's pretty well, we, we were just done. Were you, I think you were, weren't you? Yeah. About 300 kilos. So with everything else, with the three of you guys in there and the fridge and everything else that goes yeah. in it, we've got to make sure that we've got enough to to enable, enable us to put that 300 kilos of ball weight on. To meet that 3.2 GVM. That's yes, right. Okay, and, and that was really um, our thought behind getting the GVM upgrade yes. that we did there in Mildura and then we actually got signed off by an engineer in Adelaide yes. yep. um, was because we knew we were going to start to evolve the vehicle. Mm -hmm. The thing we didn't understand was that it didn't 
affect the combined weight of the two. That's right. Yeah, so these numbers we're talking about just now are all uh, the ratings of the original vehicle. So like you said, with your vehicle, you actually did a Grace Vehicle Mass upgrade, GVM upgrade, which increased your allowable weight you can put in the car. My vehicles had the same thing done, simply because I carry a lot of load, yeah. but I also do tow a caravan with it. So that allows me to have a bigger payload in the car. Yes. But like you said, Paul, GCM, Grace Combination Mass, it's a total weight that the car manufacturer says, this car and whatever it's towing is the maximum weight those two can weigh together. So in my case, it's 6,000 kilos, which is pretty normal for a lot of dual cab utes. Um, the interesting thing is if you add those two numbers up, the towing capacity and the GVM, 3,500 and 3,200, in my mass, 67. 67? Unfortunately, no, it's not. So yeah, it's a, that's something to be really careful about. That was about. definitely yes. the thing we just totally didn't understand. Yeah. You know, why doesn't one plus one equal two in this that's case? Fine. Yeah, one plus one is one and a half nearly, isn't it? Yeah. So be getting back to your GVM upgrade, um, you can, they're quite easily and readily be available for a number of manufacturers of suspension around the country. GCM is a very big grey area. Yeah. I know you said to me earlier about how do you do a GCM upgrade? Yeah, because it seems that um, it's something you can only do pre-registration and it, it doesn't seem to make sense. Well, why can't you do it post-registration? That's right. If, you, if I had a car that was done pre-registration, and look, there's only, it is a grey area. It's different in each state. It is being ratified. Eventually, it will be ratified Australia-wide, I hope. Yeah. There, are, there are meetings and going on. It's been going on for three years to ratify it across the state. But as far as GCM upgrades, uh, just about every state will say it has to be done pre-registration. Yeah. And there's only one company that will do it. Okay, and wow. that's Lovells, who we, um, we haven't had any work done with, but yeah. uh, the, the good family that took us in in Tassie during our lockdown, yeah. they had uh, recently bought a Land Cruiser and had a GCM upgrade done pre-registration, yeah. but it still seems confusing, and depending who you ask, you might get a different answer yeah. on this in different states. That's right, exactly right. And look, it's all about... Um, if you're going to get one done and you're buying a new car and you're going to do a pre-registration, just make sure you get the information right from the relevant state authority that if you go and spend that money... Yeah, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money to spend. Yeah. If you do get spend that money, that that is going to be a recognised GCM upgrade. Can't be done post-registration. We're talking about pre-registration. And look, at it makes sense. I mean, some of the vans that we're seeing out there are absolutely incredible. They're studio yeah. apartments on wheels. And with all the off-road gear, you're easily going to hit three and a half tonne yeah. fully loaded. Yeah. Uh, how are you going to be able to tow that but behind some of these vehicles, right? Oh yeah, and it is. And like I say, all these compliances we're talking about there, we've got another three to talk about shortly, but those three compliances of the car, of the car, or the vehicle, we've got to tick the box on all of them. Yeah. Uh, you know, to give you some statistics, uh, this financial year, so the last 12 months, 31% of the cars I weighed were overweight and 42% uh, of the caravan. So it's all fixable. Yeah but you've just got to know where you start with, haven't you? Yeah, yes. look, that's interesting. I think that's the ones you know about. That's the that's people right. who put their hand up. We put our heads in the sand. We were like, oh, I don't want to face the music. Mm. We're going to be overweight. I think we were under maybe 40 kilos yeah. or something. But yeah, um, yeah I think we, we might have just scraped in there. And it was because we shifted stuff, stuff around, yeah. which was really interesting. So we might talk about that in a minute. But hindsight, mm. we totally should have weighed our setup before we even pulled out of the driveway yes. to understand and get that education. Instead of being scared about it, yeah. we should have taken the time to do it because it was fantastic. And most of this time, there's something you can do, whether that's an upgrade or shift things around, to balance you and make it actually okay. Mm. That's right. There's ways like you've done with your GVM upgrade of the car. I've done the same with my vehicle simply because I carry a lot of load and, and I carry a caravan, like I was saying. Yeah. But there's other ways of reducing weight, like start taking weight out of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we get onto that. More caravans, I suppose, it's more to do with caravans about that as the weight. But okay. obviously the car, when you're travelling full time, you've got a lot of gear in that car that's yeah. going around with you all the way too. So. There's only three compliances there. There's another three over here we'll talk about shortly, but we need to tick the box on all of them. All right, okay. great. We're gonna quickly jump to the e-book guide that Katie's created. It's, it's after our 85,000 kilometers, three years almost on the road. All the lessons that we learnt, she's put it into an e-book that has over 90 pages, 100 clickable links, all the templates, everything you need to know 
Here's a little bit about that and how you can get your hands on that, plus a free audio book that comes with that. This is the road trip guide that we wished we had before we hit the road. Yes, after two and a half years and 80,000 kilometres travelling full time around Australia, the ultimate road trip ready pack plus free audio book has been released. This guide is your one stop shop to planning and preparing your travels around Australia. Over 85 pages, including detailed information on planning, purchasing and preparing for travel, gear, must-haves, safety and security, tips for levelling, tips for sand driving, storage tips and hacks, vehicle maintenance, what to expect when travelling outback, road safety, apps, maps and resources, over 100 clickable links to everything you need to know and industry resources, including the National RV Towing Guide, vehicle weight acronyms, hitching and unhitching checklists, budget template, packing lists, grab and go bag checklists, emergency contact lists, bucket list templates, and over 15 of our favorite road trip recipes. Plus all the lessons that we have learnt lapping around this great country of ours. Plus as an added bonus for every purchase of our ultimate road trip ready pack, we are gifting you for free our audio book lessons from a lap year. and an affordable and special release price that'll cost you less than one night's camping how good is that visit our website to get your hands on a copy of the ultimate road trip ready pack Okay, get your hands on that fantastic ebook. Whether you're already rolling down the road or you're, you're new to caravan and camping, it will absolutely add value. Oh, it really is the guide that we wished we had yep. when we were searching and didn't know where to look for information. All right, getting back to Dave, we're moving from the vehicle now to the caravan, the other acronyms. Yeah, that's good, Paul. Well, so we've done three already. We've got another three that we've got to comply with. Uh, First one is the tear weight of the caravan. So the tear weight is the unladen weight of the caravan. So when your caravan was manufactured, the fridge was in it, microwave was in it, the mattress was in it, everything was bolted on it like the day you picked it up. Yeah. The water tanks were empty, the gas bottles were empty, but they were on it. So basically we got the unladen weight of the caravan. Okay. So that was then weighed at, at a weigh bridge or they probably have their own scales, most, manuc man uh, most manufacturers these days. Mm -hmm. So when they weigh the caravan, they certify what the tear weight is. So that's really becomes your baseline, I Correct. suppose. That's right, Katie. So um, little old caravan we've got here behind that we were, we were given by a uh, insurance company. Uh, what did she weigh? 1,780 kilos, completely empty. Right. So that's your base, uh, that's your base starting where you're going to start from. Don't forget, then you're going to start putting water in it, gas in it, everything else. So all this, again, as you're adding this, we've got another two ratings which are loaded ratings mm -hmm. that we're going to make sure we're in. Okay. So the next one is gross trailer mass, GTM. Yep. So in trucking terms, gross weight usually means like the weight of a truck, loaded. In, tra in caravan terms, it means the allowable weight the fully loaded caravan can have on its two, if it's a tandem axle, four wheels, two axles. Um, so basically it's the weight that we can impose on the axles or axle of the caravan. Right. Got it. Maximum allowable weight when we load it. Okay. okay. Not the total weight of the caravan, just this is re re relevant to the axles. That's it, the weight on the axle. So we load our caravan, we fill our water tanks, yep. we put all our gear inside it. Um, when we weigh the caravan, we can't exceed a certain weight on that gross trailer mass, which is the weight on the wheels. But we've also got the weight on the tow ball. So we've got to add that as well. So what we do is, again, we would weigh it by weighing, getting a wheel pad underneath all the four wheels and using a tow ball scale to measure the weight right at the tow hitch where it hooks onto the car, move the car away and weigh that. So in it, what we've actually done is we lifted the caravan up and weigh it. If you like, throw a net around it, pick it up in a big crane and let's weigh that caravan fully loaded. So that's called the aggregate trailer mass. So we're adding the ball weight and the wheel weights. So again, that's the maximum weight that a caravan manufacturer will allow you to have on that caravan. Okay, that's the ATM. ATM, aggregate trailer mass, yeah. And including everything that goes in it. You know, like your caravan had 200 litres of water. Yeah. Um, or roughly 200 litres. Yeah. Uh, two gas bottles, there's another 20 kilos. So 
you know, most Tandemax or caravans these days will have in the vicinity of about 600 kilos of available. Yeah, yeah that's right, five to 600 kilos, yeah. yeah. And, and if, um, if people want to work out what that payload is, it's simply just find out what your ATM is, aggregate trailer mass, subtract the tear weight, that's what you can put in it. Right. There's your load capacity. Yeah. So the, most... the payload is what you can physically put in. So your clothes, your groceries, anything yeah. that anything you're you adding to the caravan. Yeah. Plus water. Yep. Plus water. Which is hard for you guys, and it is hard for anyone who's travelling full time, because don't forget, everything you use on a daily basis in that caravan, yeah. you need in there. It's hard to keep it where it should be. Yeah, yes. look, especially with all of the gear now, you know, the full podcast gear, the camera gear, yeah. Jasper's wooden trains from Thomas. Yeah. He loves that. Katie's shoes. My sh yes. yes. I'm getting pretty good at only having She's a few good. pairs, Dave. But the thing that surprised me was groceries. You know, when mm. you go out and you do a trolley push and you've got a few bags, and it could be three or four bags even, but the weight in those... My word. ...is remarkable. It is. And I, um, I did, a, I did a, uh, a little bit of experiment with that a few years ago. And Trish and I went away, just the two of us now, the kids have all grown up, went away for the weekend, and I weighed our clothes and our food. 60 kilos every time I did it, or thereabouts. So, you know, you'll put 20 kilos of food in your freezer, in your fridge, rather. Yeah, and that's not including the alcohol. Yeah, yes. That's right. But, you know, it all adds up. Um, yeah. And then, you know, obviously, now it's winter, we take more pairs of jeans, we take more jumpers, yeah. you might take more blankets. Yeah. Yes. Don't forget, bedding's probably the best part of 20, 25 kilos worth of bedding going on there. Yeah. Actually, we've got some really good friends who weigh everything. Every time they go away, they bag, bag everything up, up yep. pop it on the scales before it goes into the and caravan. And they write it down and they literally do the sums. Mm. Yeah. Some of the, some of the, uh, one of the presentations we do here at the show is we have um, a whole heap of gear sitting out. Um, there's a technical term for stuff, they, for, for stuff we put in caravans. It's called stuff. stuff. <laughs> All that stuff you put in your caravan, we usually have it out here in front of the caravan and we get the audience to try and pick what it weighs. Oh, great. Now, we've done that for the last three years. Most people think there's about 100 kilos worth of gear here. It actually weighs about 180. Wow. So they're estimating, they're double, nearly under, they're really underestimating what that stuff weighs. Yeah, yeah. that's a scary thought, yeah. isn't it? Because it shows how easy it is to totally overload your caravan and have oh. no idea. We look, we have a, you know, one in, one out kind of policy yeah. because living full time on the road, it's really similar to, you, because you, you take those habits with you, you just accumulate stuff. Yeah. What, what we've loved... It Ka breeds in the cupboards. It breeds in the cupboards. <laughs> Kate, Kate said, uh, it's made us conscious consumers. Yes, ma'am. Caravanning's yeah. made us actually greener in the sense of environmentally thinking about our purchases. Does it have two uses? Yes. How much does it weigh? Mm. You know, yeah. And it, it is all relative. You know, and the way we've got, we've now got six compliances here. So we need to make sure that we're in all those six. Yeah. Excellent. And really um, good for anyone watching out there. Dave has offered through Weight Check a free Ooh. downloadable. This guy. Yeah, it'll look a little bit different to this, but anyway, we'll, we'll put that on our website. If you want to access that, you can jump into the description, thefeelgoodfamily.com. So thank you to Weight Check yeah. um, because it is great to then, all of this, you'd have to watch back again, but to have it at your fingertips, and to really just go over it, take your time. That's right. Yeah. yeah, that's right, Paul. And all those acronyms, terminologies, whatever you want to call them, compliances, they all interact with each other. Yeah. So we've tried to explain it in a, in a simple manner, because if, yeah. if you get the dictionary out and try and make sense of it, you won't. Well, that's a really good point, because it's one thing to have it on a piece of paper, but what I found was when we got weighed mm. with Shane up yep. in the, the Northern Territory, the Territory, Territory Way, Way. Territory. by Shane. That's a, that's, a, yes. that's a great name. It's a great name, isn't it? Yeah, he's yeah. a great guy too. Yeah. It was so good to actually... I guess be in situ, you know, watch mm. him, see how the caravan goes up on the scales, see the numbers, have a real understanding. It's like learning on the road, you know, being out in the environment. Yeah, it's, and it, it made what we were reading on the piece of paper make sense because we were in that situation. So my question to you is, when is the right time? Don't put it off like we did. Yeah. When yeah. is the right time to get your set up weight? So what I normally suggest, if you bought a new car in a caravan, Get it all home, load it all up as if you're going to go away on your first trip. Yeah. So fill the water tanks, everything you put in that car and caravan, load it as if you're going away for just for a weekend or fuel, for a week. Fuel fill, the fill, fill the car up full of fuel, caravan full of water. Yeah. Anything you're going to put in it, 
load it up. And let's just see where it sits at that point. Okay, hopefully it's under everything. If some of those compliance are over, well then you know, well we can't really do it this way. We might be able to move some weight from here to there or whatever the case may be. Hopefully if you're under everything, we'll then be able to say, the report will identify what's left in each of those ratings. So next time you go, you can say, well our ATM, we're, we're only got 30 odd kilos left, so we've got to be a bit careful what we put in our caravan. Yeah. However, we might have 100 kilos left in the car. Well, maybe those camp chairs might have to go in the car this time. A case of wine in yeah. the back of the truck. <laughs> That's it. Do you know, it's, what's amazing about this, I think, for not only your peace of mind, but the education and all of it is, it's a few hundred dollars, right? Correct. That's right. And it's all, we pay, a, a, one of the, uh, the main drivers for me when I started the business was I needed someone to, help, to try and explain all this to me. And I needed them to sit down and explain why was my caravan overweight, how do I fix it? So that's a big part of what we do. It's okay getting all the numbers, but the big part is helping you understand this. Yeah. And I always say to people, once I'm finished, you'll be an expert on it. Yeah. And that's what, I, that's what I don't want to achieve. Yeah, that is how we felt with Shane. It was just... Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a no-brainer, really, for the investment yes. Yes. and for the education that you're going to receive. And the peace of mind, too. Like, we worried about it in the back of our minds for two years because we were worried, oh, we're probably overweight, but we're too scared to have somebody tell us we are. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. The peace of mind we got as soon as we had that done with Shane. Yeah, it's priceless. Fantastic. It's not something you should be scared of, is it? No. Well, that's it. <laughs> it's, know, it's, it's just getting, know, it's just getting that information yeah. and going, okay, if I've got a problem here, I, I've got to rectify it. And you know what? Yeah. It's just about every time it's rectified, you could be able to rectify it somehow. Yes. Yeah. And that's, that's a great point. Um, as far as the education goes, the other thing that we went and did was a towing course, mm -hmm. you know, but we actually did that straight up. So I'm yeah. glad that we did that because then... Yeah. You know, broke my ankle twice and yeah. paid hack to get behind the wheel. Yeah. And so that was fortunate that we had done that. Um, what what else as far as education? Yeah, look, I agree with, I think the towing courses yeah. are great, fantastic. Because I mean, if you're driving a car around town, you've got a license to do that. You learn to drive, you've been driving a car for years and years and years. All yeah. of a sudden, you now go and put three 3,000 kilo or three tonne caravan behind you. Everything that you've learned has all just changed, hasn't yes. it? Your, the way you react to things happening on the road, you know, obviously you're braking, everything's changing. So those tow courses are, in my book, a must to do. They're not, you don't have to do them, but it may be, you know, somewhere down the track, it may be uh, made that you have to actually do that. Yeah. And I reckon also, first aid course is good, isn't it? Yes. You guys did a first aid yeah, course? Yeah, we did. Um, we're actually due for a refresher. Yeah. And interestingly, things change. My word. Yeah, you know, it's changing all the time. There are improvements. You know, and in those, I know we've talked about you're going to go a little bit more remote areas this yes. time. Well, if you're remote and, yeah. you know, you break your leg again, mm. Katie's got to drive, at least you've got that knowledge on how to yeah. correctly manage that. Calmly yes. as well, you know, with the little one, you don't want to be panicking no, in these situations. Yeah. And being yeah. out on the road so much mm. too, the chances of coming across somebody else who we, needs help. We have seen, I think, <laughs> at least three yeah. uh, Severe accidents, yeah, um, particularly up through Northern Territory, that yeah. there, you know. Um, so, yeah, you, you want to be at least one of those people that can lend a hand if you need it yeah. to. And it is about education, isn't it? Like, yeah. I mean, it's about learning that uh, driving, uh, driving course if you're going to do it. It's about getting that first aid. And it's also about learning how all this works with the weights. Yes. Get it the numbers and then feel comfortable. It's, it's just going to make you feel a lot more comfortable driving down the road yeah. and confidence, probably the word for it. It is, yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Okay, so how can everybody out there who's watching yeah. find you, book into a service or a service like this around the country, depending yeah. on where they are? Sure. Yeah, okay, so we've got, um, we've got a franchised operation. So I look after Brisbane on the Sunshine Coast. We've got uh, John who operates Easy Way on the Gold Coast. He does northern New South Wales. Um, Shane in the Northern Territory. Yeah. Shane, he does a great job up there, the Territory Way. And also there's another Shane um, on the Darling Downs. He's based in Toowoomba, looks after Warwick, Stanthorpe, all those. Although I wouldn't be one away in a caravan in Stanthorpe today. But his business is called... Is it called snowing? Wisdom. Yeah, I think it probably is. So Shane in Toowoomba is called Western Way. Western Way. So between the three of us, we cover all those areas. So, but around, like when I first started, like you said, Paul, earlier, I was the only guy in the country doing it back then. Now, I think I've counted around about 40 businesses around Australia that yeah. are doing it. 
but you can still go to a public waybridge and do it. Yeah. Um, the concept of what we do is just take it that little bit extra. Mm. Like you said, Katie, sit down with Shane up there in Darwin when he did it and he explained it all to you and you get to a certain page, hang on, I don't get that. Can we just go back on that again? It was yes. so specific to each of yes. the axles and each of yes. every part. Every point of the so caravan. So that you could, I love that I was able to balance the van because yeah. you want to have that straight line. My word. You know, you just, it's so different when you can not have that stress of worrying about yeah. how does it feel under tow. You yeah, know? Exactly, yeah. And it is, it's the confidence thing, I yeah. think. It just gives you that confidence to know that we've loaded this as best we can. Yeah. All the weights sort of, they're where they should be. Let's go. Yeah, just awesome. Well, we will put your details, Dave, down below in the Thanks, description Dave. of Great. this video. And as we said, that free downloadable will be up on our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com. So do jump on and grab a copy of that. All right, I think that's it from us. Let's go caravanning. Mate, yes. I'm going to have to go for a bit of a jog. It is freezing, it is freezing. in Brisbane. <laughs> Coldest day on record, they told us. That's right. It's, it's for June. Anyway, yeah. look, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, thank Dave. You, Dave. Great to be, thanks very much for having me. It's been great. Pleasure, mate. All right, for now, we'll say dream big, look after yourself and look after your family. And happy trails. It's time to escape to paradise, and here's your chance to win the ultimate feel-good getaway valued at over $3,000. Thanks to Serendip B&B, you'll be enjoying a three-night stay for up to six people in this tropical oasis set within the Gold Coast hinterland, including use of your own private heated swimming pool, complete with water slide, a heated spa, games room with pool table, the tiki bar, treetop deck with fire pit. It's like having your own private resort in paradise. Truly is amazing. Plus, our great mates at Nike have thrown in a feel good Nike bundle, including their world first 100% recycled hammock, bug net, rain tarp, puffy blanket, and their yet to be released Nike towel. Oh, these are our favourite products to relax in on the road. And you'll be enjoying an island escape to beautiful South Stradbroke Island with a day trip thanks to our good friends at Tipler's Cafe, including return Tipler's ferry transfers from Jacob's Well, a delicious lunch for you and your mates, and use of the Tipler's facilities, including swimming, beach volleyball, nature walks, a playground for the kids, and make sure you take your fishing rod. Yes, some fantastic fishing from the island. All right, to enter, simply visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com, fill in the entry form, and be sure to have subscribed to our YouTube channel, The Feel Good Family. It is that easy. All the terms and conditions can be found on our website. Oh, have fun deciding who you are going to take with you on this ultimate feel good escape to paradise. All right, enter now and good luck. Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe and share our channel. And if you'd like more information on full-time RV travel and living, visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com. There you'll find loads of free resources, our weekly podcast, caravan cooking recipes, our monthly Go RV magazine articles, and much more. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and your family, and happy trails.